you're creating a big organization. What does that mean from a capital perspective? It just means that our capital, our capital has grown. Because you had, you have, you have, uh, we are now at uh, 84 billion. All right. So you have two organizations, small organizations, who are, I would say, um, on the lower scale, but becoming a medium-sized bank. It definitely gives us a, a, an excellent positioning in this market, a positioning for growth. Despite majority of mergers today driven by shortfalls and now the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, survival according to bankers lies in innovation. The new normal is not around only lending. It is about supporting customers within with the solutions that the customers require. For instance, uh, transactional banking, uh, money transfers. Uh, those are key areas that uh, we should be able to support our customers. Uh, to going forward. Um, there is certainly, there was certainly a slowdown, uh, but we are very optimistic that this will actually uh, pass. Last month, the Bank of Uganda gave a go-ahead to the NC CBA Bank merger. We are saying we need to keep afloat and it's important for us to continue serving the customers. So on our side internally, we've also sat down to look through our operations and say, where can we defer spending, where can we spend better, okay, uh, where can we stop spending completely for now. Previous acquisitions include ABSA and Barclays among others and to bank industry experts this is a major market trend with synergies aimed at retooling capital positions and countering new heavily capitalized entrants.